Okay, so in the last video, we set up our droplet, then we did our initial server configuration by SSH into our server. We added a new user with pseudo access. So now we are ready to do our actual server configuration and install Nginx, PHP, and MySQL. The first thing that I will install is Nginx. I'll just run sudo apt install Nginx and hit enter. And sure enough, in a few seconds, Nginx will be up and running. Then next thing, we would like to allow the access to Nginx as this is going to be our HTTP server. To do that, we just need to run sudo ufw, which stands for Ubuntu Firewall Allow, and then in quotes, Nginx HTTP and hit enter. This is going to add a rule which would allow the access to port 80 from the outside world to our droplet. So that way we would be able to access our block via our browser. If you run Ubuntu Firewall status, you'll be able to see that the traffic to Nginx is allowed from anywhere. Okay, now if we grab our IP address and visit it via our browser, sure enough, we are getting the Nginx welcome page. Now we are ready to proceed and install MySQL. To do that, you need to run sudo apt install mysql-server and hit enter. Wait for a few seconds. And then sure enough, mysql is up and running as well. As this is going to be kind of our production server, it's best to secure mysql as well. To do that, you just need to run mysql underscore secure install here and just hit enter then enter a secure password then retype the password again and after that here you just say yes to all of those okay then we are all done there's one final thing that we want to do now if i type sudo mysql i'll be able to access mysql without typing a password and this is not something that we want to have to fix that, we just need to specify our root password here. So I'll just type outer user, then followed by root at localhost. I would also specify my password. To do that, I'll type identified with mysql underscore native underscore password. Finally, if I say bye, I'll be able to specify my password. Here, make sure to put something really secure as this is the user which would have access to all of your databases. Finally, run flush privileges and hit enter. Then exit MySQL. And now if you run sudo MySQL, we will get access denied. As now we have to specify our root password as well. To do that, you just need to type sudo MySQL dash p, which stands for password, and then dash u followed by your username. And as you can see, you would be asked for a root password. Okay, now we are ready to move on and install PHP. As a start, I'll just install PHP FPM and PHP MySQL. We'll install the other modules later on. To do that, I'll just type sudo apt install php-fpm and then space php-mysql. Hit enter and wait for a few seconds. Okay, now if we run php-v, sure enough, we have php 7.2 available. And then one final thing that I would like to do in this video is install Composer. We will use Composer to install our Laravel app. So let's start by installing the Composer prerequisites. Just run sudo apt install hero, then php cli, along with php mb string, git, and unzip. We need all of those things in order to be able to use Composer. Okay, good. Now, if we don't have Composer installed, let's go to our temp directory where we would download the Composer install script. To do that, just run hero dash s followed by a capital S, then https get composer.org installer space hyphen o. The hyphen here stands for the output file where we would like to store the 
installer, I'll just put setup.php. Now, if I run ls, I'll be able to see that the file was just created and it's called setup.php. We can actually inspect the file, it's just a PHP script which would install Composer for us on our server. And by the way, don't worry if you don't get all of those commands, I will share them all below the video so that you can just copy and paste them in your terminal. Now that we have the setup script available to install Composer, all that we need to do is run the following command PHP, then the name of the script. As you can see, as easy as that, we now have the Composer par file available. So let's go ahead and move it to our bin folder. That way we will be able to run Composer from anywhere. To do that, just type sudo mv composer.far and then the destination to the bin folder, which is user local bin, and let's call the file Composer. Now, if I type Composer, sure enough, we have Composer available and it's version 1.10. And this is going to be pretty much it for this video. In the next video, we'll go ahead and actually install Laravel on our server. I hope you find this useful, and if so, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss the next video.